Taper attachment. A couple of things you need to know about my taper attachment is one, it slides across the back of the bed. This bolt here, I just use to lock it in to that hole there. Put one on, not got it on the lathe. Next thing you need to know about my taper attachment is the feed knot is engaged on the cross slide and you need to take this bolt out here which is into the lead knot, whatever it's called. You know what I mean. So that comes out. I'm just going to vacuum that out for a second. Hold on. A little bit of a vacuum session there. Getting these chips out. Right. Now, that to me looks very dangerous. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that looks like that is going to get covered. Absolutely trash, that will get. So I push the taper attachment in. If it's going to be into about the middle of the travel. Well, I just want to make sure it's not going to come off the end. So I'm a bit further forward than that. That'll be fine. I need to see the chuck. Taper attachment across a bit further. Up. Now I've never had this on before, and this says you put that here and stick that bolt into that. Tighten it up at the back, we might get somewhere close. So I've actually dug out a half inch spanner for this, especially for this. And it's not fine, oh, it's probably 9 sixteenths. It's not even 9 sixteenths, it's some Whitworth size, which is close to 13 mil. <laughs> it's probably close to 13, I thought it's got to be a half inch. It's a Whitworth size, I don't know what size that'll be then. Well, a 9 goes on it anyway, it's a bit... I don't really want to tighten it too much with a 9 because it's going to turn. But they are good knots, so we can take a little bit of uh, wrong size spanner abuse. So, now, when I tighten this up, with the 8mm spanner, <laughs> not a metric layer, it's just metric spanners seem to fit it quite well. I don't know how much backlash we're going to have now. Not a lot. Fingers crossed when I turn this now, it will follow the taper and it is. I don't know what's stopping it though. Something is stopping it. What is stopping it? I'll bet you any money. Any money. No, that isn't stopping it. What is stopping it? Something is stopping it. And I can't see what. Well, I think it's the cross slide nut. It's the first time it's been disengaged for a while. It's got to run across. Oh, 
all of this. We don't want that. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Okay, I get it. Yeah, I'm trying my hardest to break the lathe as usual. <laughs> Good luck what you're doing. <laughs> uh, we're gonna bring it down. There we go. So we're in the ballpark of actually hitting the part now. Uh huh. Now I need to just loosen off your compound to start. Wow, this is difficult to set up. This is everything's gonna clash. That's looking good. Now how do you advance the cut? I think we have to advance that on the compound, don't we? So, I just did, oh yeah, I don't know what I just did. I'm quite happy now that it's in the field of travel. So, we're gonna... Alright, we'll bring the compound down. We'll bring it out just a bit further. Just back up a sec, two more. Lock that down again. And then we need to lock something else down. What was the locking down? It was the tool post. And make sure that's inside. Yeah, well we're not going to lock it down with that one. Too many things going on at once. For my new to engineering brain. see that just watch it down here you can see it advancing and retarding and that isn't going to touch at the moment I'm going to put my stop there because clearly I am going to be hitting that jaw if I go any further than that and I don't know how far I'm going to advance so I'm going to back that off I'll tell you what I'll bring that to there. If I push that in, ooh, ooh. So advancing the compound is going to push it in further. So if I back off on the compound now, by the time it comes in, it's going to be missing my loads. But if I advance the compound up, back to where it was, now it should just about be, yeah. And if I advance it further, now I'm touching, if I advance it further, Now I'm hitting it massively. Up to the front, we don't want to too far off the end. Alright, okay. So what I'm going to do is, we'll back the compound off. Quite a weight. That should still be alright. I won't need to go all the way there with that. And we're missing by about a centimetre. So like that, we'll have that at zero. Unlock that, unlock that. Where should we be going in now? Yep. 
got that now, so, oh, that there, it's just about touching the first cut, but it's not cutting my, right, so now I'm going to decide how much I'm going to take off. And I think a good centimetre. So let's bring it to a nice position there. I'm going to go too far off the end. And I'd say there. So what I'm doing there is I'm, I'm nipping a centimetre off of it. Approximately. The width is 38mm. I'm taking our 7mm there, that's 14mm total off of 38 Everybody else has worked that already. I'm thinking 24mm left in the centre. I've got 14 that that'll be 5mm either side. Maybe that's a little bit too much. A little bit too much. So we'll back it up a bit again. Uh, maybe put that one. We'll back it off to 5mm, we'll take off, we'll take a centimetre off in total, let's see if that's good. Uh, put the roller on the other way, get somewhere close, that's 6mm now. 6mm, I'll back it off a bit more than that. It's getting into the realm of where I want to be though. Oh, that's about five mil. It's not exactly, but that's about five mil. Now, I'm quite happy that the compound is now set to the position where I want it to be. So by the time I've fully advanced it now, it will be cutting five mil off. But I need to know where that's going to be with ease. So I'm going to use my new gold wing. I'm going to set up a DTI gauge. I think I'm going to bring it round and touch on the back here. And then I can measure how much forward and backward advance I'm going to do. So at that point there, when the gauge is set up, and it's all nice and steady, or well, that probably might be in the way of the movement, hopefully not. Once that's all set up, then I can back it off all the way to get clearance of the tool to come past the part. Then I can wind it past the part, wind it back into its position, and set the stop so at the full advance I'm not going to be colliding with the chuck. So the stop's down here, if you can see it underneath this. And we're working on them. Well, I can adjust the stop now, it's a bit stiff at the start, but I can adjust that now without the rod moving. So, quite happy about that. Turn up the micrometer adjustment down here to get it absolutely where I want it so I can get it close to the chuck as possible. I'm grabbing the part by about a centimetre. I suppose I better start doing some measuring now. I'm grabbing this part by 8mm by the looks of that. 18.5mm. 